S3 Object Lock allows you to prevent the deletion of objects in a bucket, and this feature can only be turned on at the time of creation of a bucket. Object Lock is for companies that need to prevent objects being deleted uh, to have data integrity, regulatory compliance, and S3 Object Lock uh, is regulatory compliant with a, a few different things like SEC 17A-4, CTCC, FINRA, do I know what those are off the top of my head? Absolutely not, but they definitely sound important if you care about uh, regulatory compliance. You can store objects using the right once read many model, just like an S3 Glacier. That's why we we're talking about Worm earlier to lay this up for S3 object lock. You can use it to prevent an object from being deleted or overridden for a fixed amount of time or indefinitely. Uh, object retention is handled two different ways. We have retention period, so this is a fixed period of time during which an object remains locked. We have legal holds. It remains locked until you remove the hold. And one caveat that you have to remember about S3 object lock is that it can't be used as a destination bucket for server access logs. So uh, hopefully that is very clear. Now in terms of how you would go ahead and set an object lock on objects, uh, you can you do this only via the AWS CLI, so or I should say the the AWS API, so CLI or SDK. And so we would have a put object, and we what we would do is set some flags on in here. Now this is just one example, as there are a few different ways of locking objects, and we have different modes. But I just want to point out that it's based on the or it's only through. Um, uh, the AWS API, you cannot do it through the console and you need to remember that, okay? Uh, so there you go.